I think it's about time for a garden tour. So these are the pots at my front door. This is all coleus pretty much. This is Persian Shield. It's a cool plant. Doesn't bloom, it's just for the foliage. And there's this pot. This is actually a willow tree. Um, it's supposed to get 30 feet high, so obviously it's not going to stay there or on the property, probably. I actually like this pot. Moving on to the garden, this is a bloomerang lilac, so it blooms in the spring and then again in the summer. I just mulched for the first time ever today, but I ran out, but it usually looks like this, so it does look a lot nicer with mulch. Uh, let's go around the front first. That's so weird. I have seen so many honeybees on the ground today. What happened to you? You only have one wing? Oh no. Come back. Somebody needs to beat him up. <sighs> These are peacock orchids. I really like those. It's a bulb. Snapdragons, hydrangea. I just put this crab apple here in its pot. It has really nice blooms in the spring. Some Coryopsis here. Rosa Sharon. Laced up elderberry. That's bugle weed, I think it's called. This is um, egg stash. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This smells really good. It smells like toothpaste. That's another one. This is um, a piece of copper from a building in downtown Victoria that was demolished. Um, it was a piece of flashing and I kind of made it into this um, little water dish. 
I was hoping the bees would drink off of this. I've seen them drink off this before, but I haven't seen any drink off it in the spot. But I obviously have it hooked up to my drip irrigation so it gets filled every morning. Okay, where's that bee so I don't step on him? Not that he's going to be much good without a wing. You guys, these hydrangeas turn pink when fall is coming. And look at them. Oh god. <gasps> look at that big bee. I don't know if you saw my video from yesterday. Maybe I'll try to do some fancy editing and edit in a little snippet of the video. There was a gigantic bumblebee here yesterday. It was insanely big. Oh my god, I can't even believe how big that thing is. That's gotta be like an inch and a half long. Whoa! <laughs> it almost flew right into my head. Anyway, moving on. So this is a quick view of the backyard. Go check it out. So in these hanging baskets, they're all petunias and they're all one plant in each container. So that is one plant. That's one plant. That one back there is one plant. These ones though, I did, I want to do a little experiment. So the top one is one plant, the middle one is two plants, and the bottom one is three plants. So I obviously just, whoa, um, I just cut these back and I prune, I did the bottom one obviously pretty hard. So I'm waiting for that to bounce back. It actually was, well, and I did that because it was looking the worst. So maybe one plant is the way to go was like competing too much maybe and just none of them were growing very well I don't know so here's a veggie area this is a raspberries this is my potato patch <laughs> you can't even really tell what's what it's all just green um, I have 21 of these pots around the edges these ones don't look very good Got a couple peppers, a couple tomatoes, some basil. The point of these pots around the edges was really to attract pollinators to, so that they would help out my vegetables. Uh, these are carrots. See some big ones there. I had kohlrabi, um, onion, garlic, uh, I did a purple cauliflower, I think that's it. Okay, these plants, the hummingbird comes and visits every day. Well, I don't know, every day. I've seen it a few times. <laughs> but up, up until that time, I hadn't seen hummingbirds here ever. I think I've seen one in the four years that I've lived here and then I planted these plants and now I've seen it a few times. So here I have strawberries. This whole unit, uh, there's a water issue. You can tell they're all, they don't look good. It's getting too much water, like the drainage isn't very good. It's just like soaking wet all the time. So I need to fix that for next year. Um, and this is all corn. And I've been eating it every night. I pick about three or four cobs every night for Darren and I, and they're absolutely perfect. So the trick to growing corn is that you have to grow it in large amounts. You can't just grow like three plants. You have to do a big amount like this. If you only do a small amount of plants, they have to, they pollinate by like the wind, I think, like kind of blowing around the top parts. And if 
you don't have very many plants, it doesn't get pollinated properly, and then you'll get like only two or three kernels on each cob. But the ones I picked last night for dinner were tasting a little bit like they were getting overripe. So I might just pick all of these tonight and cook them up. So what I did, I did like this half I planted first and then this half I planted like two weeks after. So these ones are still have some growing to do. But yeah, it's kind of cool. And then I can chop them down and use them for decoration. I like these types of things in gardens too. Everything's on drip irrigation. Look down this line. Ooh, this is good. Doesn't that look so nice? Again, that's one petunia plant in each of those pots. They're all from proven winners. This is Supertunia Bordeaux. This is Supertunia Vista Paradise. This is Prince Tut. Graceful graph or graceful graph? Pyrus. Got a cuke. These aren't doing very well. I made them suffer right from the start. <laughs> they were on my, I started them in the house and they were starting to flower and they were still on my kitchen counter, like in their little pots. <laughs> I really like butternut squash. But yeah, I built this tunnel so that I mean, this year it's not going to happen, but they grow over top and then you can walk down the middle. I made it tall enough so a tall person, well, a six foot person can still walk through. Mm -hmm. This area is kind of for the misfit plants that I don't really know what to do with. That's a dogwood, um, Arctic fire dogwood that I took out of my front garden. Some what is that, a mondo grass and some stuff there? Nepeta, nine bark. Yeah, this is mostly stuff that I had in the front and then didn't really like where it was or what it was doing, and so I took it out. This is kind of a misfit pile as well. Have a little uh, roto. There. Another coleus. This one's kind of cool. Yarrow that needs a home. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it. What's the date today? August, what is it, 16th? Maybe 15th, I think. Um, 2020. So there you go mid-August garden tour.